Hello gentle people, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time. If you remember, quite some time ago I bought these uh, one by one by six pieces of basswood from Beavercraft. So this is what we're gonna use today to carve uh, one of these little castle, uh, mini castle to this extent. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So like I said, one by one by six. Well, kinda, yeah, kinda, one by one by six. So uh, these little castles are like, this one is one by two, this one is one by 1.5, I think. Yeah, something like that. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, so for measurement, we're gonna keep it simple. So 1.5, we're gonna make a line here. And then by holding the pencil, I'm gonna go around. I kind of like using these long pieces for holding, like I've done with my Mini Vikings uh, video before. Uh, it's really cool to hold the part and then carve in here, because holding a 1 by 1.5 or 2 is way too small for the hand, right? So what I'm going to do after that is at, I don't know, not a quarter, not a half, like here I guess, pretty much in the middle, yeah something like that, I'll make another line, a bit lower, whatever, you can just freeform it, I know that some of you guys are really really keen on having all the right measurement for proportion, but this one is really uh, up to you really, so that's gonna be the little towers on the side, will be at that height, and then at the top I'm gonna just remove a bit of the sides like this, all right, it's gonna make the tower in the middle, better if I'm on the camera, all right, and then on the side keeping the same distance I'm gonna move these lines here, okay, without further ado let's get cracking at it, we're gonna remove the wood to have this shape here at the top, all right. So starting with the corners because it's always easier to carve. Gonna remove that, all right. And then from here, I usually do a little bit of a stop cut here in the corner again. You can remove more wood when the cut is really in place. I start small to make sure it doesn't break and I don't end up cutting myself. And then I remove more wood at the corners. Same thing on each side. something like that. I'm gonna have this weird shape and then from the edge we can shave more so I guess you understand the gist of it so we're gonna remove the wood all the way until the square is done can put a couple of stop cuts like that just to make sure you block yourself and it's easier to remove wood like so So we have the shape here. Then we're gonna. I will just remove the wood all the way until I have a sort of a cube up here, and I'm gonna be right back. Good. So as we can see, we have this sort of little cube thing on the top. All right. So that's the 
main tower. Now we're gonna make the little tower on the side. So at a distance. I don't know how much that is. Go over the middle. Alright. So we have these things. It's gonna be the little tower. And then just a little bit. I'm gonna remove that part. And this is the this is the tricky part of the carving, right? If you have a chisel or something, that's probably like I always say almost probably way easier to do doing that with the knife with that size of a blade. It's a bit tricky, but as you can see, it's still doable. So I'm gonna do one, and then I'm gonna do the three others without the camera because you don't have to look at me do exactly the same thing four times. So I just put my wood on the table, and then I stop cut. Right, can go pretty deep on each side. Then I'm gonna stop cut here. All right, so you have this uh, this shape. And then what I do, I'm right-handed, so I remove one big chunk here as a push cut because that's easy. All right, you can remove a little one in the corner there. Not don't put too much strength because you're cutting with the grain really easy for the wood to split all right and we can do another one with the pull cut right here on the corner all right and then from here I put my wood on the table and then I shave on the side like so against the grain then little by little I remove the wood all the way until we're gonna be at the same depth as the main tower and then it's easier to do pull cut in this and then you have this little tower protecting you anyway serving as a stop cut all right so as you can see we're almost there a little pull cut on that side Push cut, sorry. Then a bit more. Having a chisel, you would have just like <laughs> pumped it in the middle. And you just want to be a little deeper than you were with the tower to basically remove the line of the stop cut that you had before as much as you can. All right. Something like that. Good. So I'm going to do that three more times and we'll be back. All right. So that's how it looks. The four little corners are done. All right. So now we're going to do a little quick thing to separate the tower from these middle parts so on the lines you got to do stop cuts right like this then you gotta remove just a little bit with a push cut on one side and a pull cut on the others like so all right and now thinking about it we're gonna do the bottom so you're gonna go along with your knife all the way around like so all right and then from here we're just gonna remove a little bit of wood really not a lot just a tiny tiny piece right just to make sure that there's some sort of distance between the, the castle and 
the, I don't know, the ground. All right. It's a tiny, tiny carving, so cuts are not super, super deep. But it's still, as you can see with these guys, it's still enough to see a, a little bit of shadows. Okay, so we're gonna do this again on each side. All right, so that's where we're at right now. Now for the main tower, we're gonna make one of these. That's way simpler. Once again, draw a line somewhere where you feel like it. All right, something like that. And we're gonna bring two sides all the way almost to the middle and then the other not that deep. So you're gonna, you can carve like that straight. If what I just said made no sense with uh, bringing two sides and two sides, you will see in a second. Alright, so you look, let's remove more. Uh, something like that. And then these other two sides we're going to remove a bit also. where we are now so all sides are exactly the same right now so we're gonna take one that's gonna be the front these two sides are bigger than these two from the shape I carved so it's gonna be the front right here so really simple you're gonna carve a little window so a little step cuts like this and then you're gonna merge it all right, like that. And then really, really, really gently, we're gonna remove one little corner after each other. So that's one corner, remove the other one. Then like this. Watch out when holding like that. This finger is badly placed, but there's not really any chance I would cut myself with the amount of strength I put. Okay. And then a little pull cut. All right. So we've got a little window. You can try to remove a bit more wood if you feel like it. Just be mindful of where your blade goes. Okay, got a little window. Then we're gonna make a little door. Same way, like this. All right. Gonna pop the wood. I usually like the doors to be a bit deeper. So we got a little, uh, a little door. Now, super simple. We're gonna do little V cuts on all the little tower. Really tiny. Be mindful. Don't put a lot of strength. There's not a lot of wood. All right. So you see, there is this little, little triangle. All right. We're gonna do that on every 
tower side. Okay, so it gives these little tower side things. Now we're gonna do the same thing on these. Two or three, I think I'm gonna do three. There we go. Good. Now I'm just gonna shave off the wood a bit to remove my pencil mark. Now I think I'm gonna add another window in the back. More of a little square one, I guess. You can put some on the side if you want or whatever. That's really up to you. All right, there's a little window in the back too. So now we are gonna do uh, the little uh, the bricks. If you see, all right. So I'm gonna do just a little stop cut here and on the side of the door, like that. And really gently, I will just remove the wood from below. Really, really, really tiny bit of wood. Just enough so it creates a bit of shadow. All right, like that. And on the side, I'm gonna do one two, three step cut, and then I'm gonna do like one on each side, one in the middle, one on each side, like this, all right? And then same thing, I'm gonna pop the wood from below. lazy a bit on that side as you can see I've done a couple of cuts on the tower so I can just pop the wood a bit once again almost done it's really simple I'm gonna just uh, make you see the little roof stand apart so you do a little stop cut and really really gently again you pop the wood from under it thing on the big tower too. Like I said, put some windows on the side. You could have left a little bit of the the top part to put a window up there. So on and so forth. Alright, and then from here I just do just a couple of V-cuts randomly on the side of the towers to put some sort of uh, more of a broken, little broken parts. Because, you know, everything's better when it's a bit rough. Same thing on the big tower. I look at it. Simple enough. Take your brush. Give it a little go. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was easy enough. Here is how they can look like painted. Thanks to the magic of video editing. And as you probably have seen on the thumbnail. But uh, yeah, I gave it a little uh, paint job. Super simple. Gray, brown. Couple of growing plants on the sides and on the tower in the middle. So yeah, 
I hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see each other in the next video, hopefully a bit sooner than this one. Bye-bye.